Hey guys, uh, Lord British here, bringing you yet uh, another topic I wish to uh, bring up. Um, brought to my attention by um, a couple of videos on YouTube uh, about GameStop. Now, um, just to throw out there, I'm not a big fan of uh, GameStop or Game or EB Games. Um, I believe EB Game stores are only re relative to uh, Australia still, I think, and Game being... Uh, Basically, England's and Europe's GameStop kind of thing. Uh, basically, all the same store. They're all they're all kind of guilty of the um, the, the same crap is what it amounts to. Um, now, they're apparently going to uh, mobile device and tablet tablets, which um, I'm thinking. Hang on, I, I thought they were a game store. I thought they they sold games. At least they used to. I mean, like. Um, I used to enjoy going into game stores, and there, there's still those um, traditional stores that are around, like, um, like there's a couple in, like, half-price books and things like that, and uh, I'm trying to think of the... Uh, there's a place uh, near me called uh, Vax and Videos in Ohio, which is, if you live in Ohio and you've never heard of Vax and Videos, just trust me, look it up, they got... It's a wonderful place. Like it's, I, I love facts and videos. They have tons of uh, old games, new games, and old game systems. They they focus more on the older stuff though. So um, that's good because when you become uh, a little bit old like myself, you remember. Oh, I remember playing that game back in the day. I won't mind owning that again, kind of thing. And I'm I'm very much like that type of gamer. Although I, I do in, enjoy newer games as well. Like I I really do. Um, well, I, d I don't know why they're going to the the mobile market. Why they why they think this is a good idea? I mean, most people I know who go into GameStop are looking for games. Now, just so you know, I like like I said, I really really hate GameStop game EB games and that, that kind of crap because they overcharge for everything. Now, I understand they have to make a profit on things and they make most of the the money out of um, free owns, and I understand that. But when I'm looking at a game that's come out. Like a Call of Duty, it's come out like five months ago, and they're still charging like fifty dollars for the fucking thing pre-owned. I'm like, why? Why the fuck would I buy that? And it's at the end of the day, you can also look at the uh, all the videos on YouTube of the the wastefulness of GameStop. Like people who basically go um, dustbin diving behind GameStop, and they have like all these copies of like like Call of Duty Black Ops and and other gaming merchandise that have just been purposely like spoiled being thrown away because they have too much of the fucking shit and having too many games shouldn't be in your fucking vocabulary if you're a game store it sh that should not even be an issue you know if you have too much of one product sell it at a discount i mean wh whatever happened to that if you've got too much of stuff just sell it cheaper and then you'll sell more of it and gain more of a profit rather than just throwing the fucking shit away like i i just don't understand that logic when you can sell it and make I mean, what's better than making no money out out for something? It's making a little, yeah. So, like, how hard would it be to like say, "Oh, we've got a special sale on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is like a fucking like an eight year old game now. We're selling you it for fifteen dollars or twenty dollars or whatever." They'd make a fucking killing because, like, with Call of Duty, it's the kind of game that. I might want to play at some point, but I'm not going to go out and spend sixty dollars because I don't think it's worth that for the experience of it. I don't even think it's worth forty, to be honest with you. Um, I very often pop into my local GameStop, and it's not because I'm looking to buy a new game. It's because I'm looking at the pre-owned ones. Like, um, for instance, I got Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, three dollars. I fucking I spend more on McDonald's and coffee than I do. Spending on that game. Now, some people might say, well, Operation Raikouzen is a crappy game. And I agree. But I only played $3 for the fucking thing. And I think it's more than worth that. I think it's more than worth that. If I'm only sp spending a little bit of money on a game, it doesn't matter how bad it is. I, I have tons in my collection. Like, two worlds. Like, $2 from GameStop. Like, and if I'm buying a brand new game, like, most of the time, um... Dark Souls 2 is the exception from the rule. I did pre-order that from GameStop because it was going to be sixty dollars when it came out anyway. So it it didn't fucking matter. Is what it amounts to. Um, most of the time, I do my shopping online. I buy stuff off Amazon because you can get stuff reasonably priced. I mean, you do have the element of you have to wait and you have to be sure the person you're buying off is legitimate. 
And honestly, I've never really had any issues with Amazon. I've had one where uh, a game was late arriving and it wasn't as described, but I uh, I managed to get a uh, refund from that from Amazon. So that's fine. You know, I think Amazon and eBay are very legitimate places to buy things, and that's what I would suggest for most people do. Your pre-owned game shopping online, maybe even your brand new game shopping, because I um I pre-ordered Earth Defense Source 2025 from Amazon, and it was cheap, and I got it the day it released. Like it arrived the day it released. Sure, I didn't get to play it as soon as some people did, but um. It's something you uh, learn to appreciate as you get older. You don't need to get something the day it releases. I mean, I was at the midnight release for Skyrim. And then afterwards, I kind of wondered, why was I at the midnight release? Because I'm pretty tired now. I'm not going to go home and play it. I'm just going to go home and go to sleep. Food, food for thought, guys. Food for thought. You know? I mean, if you're a PC gamer, there's always Steam. And GOG. They're wonderful places to get games too. So, all in all... Um, GameStop making a bad move, bad at the end of the day, I don't care, is what it amounts to. I'll pop in every now and again to look at the pre-owned stuff, but more often than not, I'm going into, like, backs and videos and other game stores that have a way wider r range of older games. Because, you know, I collect NES and Super Nintendo games, as well as PlayStation 2 games and old Xbox games. Like, for instance, I just ordered Blink's The Time Sweeper on Amazon. Uh... Four dollars, including delivery. Wonderful, beautiful. I get to play Blinks of Time Sweeper, and it only cost me four dollars, and it's going to arrive to my door. I don't have to go anywhere to get it. Sure, I have to wait a few days, but I'm more than willing to have that trade off. You know, it's what's going to happen in the meantime. Um, the only thing I'm going to miss about um, GameStop, since they're deciding to kill themselves, um, which they're more than welcome to do, and I do feel sorry for anyone who works in the GameStop. I know they have to deal with all amounts of crap. And I'm sorry, I really, really am. But um, the only thing I'm gonna miss is I always have my eye out for deals and things like that. And every so often, as of recently, um, I I mentioned on my Minecraft video that I just got Black Flag. Now I got it for like fifteen dollars because it was mispriced in GameStop, and I felt really bad about buying it. Like I took it to the uh, I took it to the the counter and he was like that'll be fifty two dollars. I was like that's not what the price is on the box. And he looked at the price of the box and like he couldn't find the box because apparently he misplaced it. However, I did have the uh, the common knowledge to look that there was more than one boxes on the shelf priced at that. They had like four or five boxes all priced at like a reduced rate of fifteen dollars, and it was obviously. Someone had mispriced it. Like, they were told that this pre-owned game was going on sale at the moment. And they just, like, oh, right, okay. And they mispriced Assassin's Creed Black Flag because of it. So I felt really bad about buying Assassin's Creed Black Flag for $15. But at the same time, it's... At the end of the day, the fault was someone who uh, who priced it at that. And, and like I said, I still feel bad about it now. But the fact of the matter is I got Black Flags for $15. I'm not going to go and pay $50 for Black Flag. I, I, I just think, like, there's certain games I will pay the money for and certain games I won't. And, like, an Assassin's Creed game, basically Ubisoft are coming to the point where they're releasing that crap every year. And then I had the beautiful knowledge of knowing that when I got home and tried playing on the online, it's like, well, you need to purchase an Ubisoft online pass. I was like, thinking, well, what's the my player like? Is it just the generic running around, stabby, stabby other players? And like, yeah. I said, so there's no ship combat in the multiplayer. They're like, no. I said, well, you can spin on it. I don't care about that. If they had ship combat in the multiplayer, then I might consider it, but they don't. So, but that's a business practice from Ubisoft. And I don't necessarily agree with purchasing online passes for games. Because online passes are bullshit. Everyone knows this. Like, it basically means you're buying a game pre-owned and then you have to buy an online pass. It's a legitimate business practice from the game publisher's perspective because it means even if someone's buying pre-owned, they're going to make a little bit of money out of them. I personally never really cared too much about multiplayer. Most games I buy is for the single player. But anyway, I've, I've droned on uh, long enough about uh, GameStop and... Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the habit of cheesing uh, a, like a store out of its money. But, like, everyone's exactly the same. They see a deal, they'll go out and get it, kind of thing. And it's common business practice. If something has been mispriced, they will sell it at that price. 
that's pretty much worldwide. In England, it's uh, what's known as a consumer right. You're allowed to do that. If something's been mispriced, then they basically have to sell you it at that price. In Ohio, in sorry, not in just Ohio, but in the United States, I understand they they don't have to sell it to you at all. But it's they normally would do just because they don't want to annoy customers is what it amounts to. Um, so game game stores are more than welcome to kill themselves. There's going to be other game stores out there like vaccine videos and um, what's that trading store that we're always getting? I can't remember the name of the trading store, but there's this other place where you can trade in play games and things. There are a lot of game stores out there that I would say are well more worth going and visiting. But um, I'm not going to miss GameStop. I'm going to miss the convenience of it certainly, but uh, as a store, I'm not going to miss it. Like. They, they can do what they want. Doesn't matter to me. Anyway, uh, feel free to leave your comments on, on this topic and let me know what you think about it. You know, that's what the internet's about, uh, people voicing their opinions. So, cheerio, guys.